Tonight we have a number of final presentations. The classes we teach here at Simon range from a global perspective to an urban perspective. We have a very simple model. In our urban impact class, we're looking more locally, geographically, and the problems, and they differ considerably. And everything on this side over here is from a different food link program called the Mobile Pantry. Rochester actually faces a lot of poverty and limited access to healthy foods in certain areas, particularly low-income areas. Um, so we were challenged with trying to fix that problem. I just didn't know which data I was going to include. I think experiential learning is integral to an MBA. So each of the classes I teach here have two components, one academic, but also an experiential learning and practical project that's live, meaning that if the project is successful in the class, it could actually be implemented in the world. Welcome to the Food Link Freezer. Mike hooked us up with Food Link uh, right early on in the project. There's a huge problem in this city, and actually it's, it's an urban problem throughout the country, where most uh, low-income neighborhoods have a high amount of calorie-dense, nutritionally devoid food products. And meanwhile, uh, those are the very areas that have the highest rates of diet-related illnesses. Almost everything in here is going towards our member agencies. So clearly there's a problem that needs to be addressed. And Foodlink has tried a number of projects that have shown a great deal of success, but there's always room for more innovation and opportunities. Social entrepreneurship is a recognition that there are societal issues that are vital and important to a thriving and sustainable community. I think that students are more interested in social entrepreneurship today because that's where business is going. For instance, my generation, the millennials, we're interested in not just treating stakeholders well, but actually making a positive impact beyond profits. First of all, we want to reach low-income families and give them the opportunity to buy healthy meals. And when we developed this vending machine concept where we're offering frozen meals available through frozen food vending machines. Um, they have an EBT card reader right on the machines. We're going to place them in places where people can access them 24-7. We're just trying to create that link to healthy meals. Foodlink has a very long history of social enterprise. It's very critical to us to think about how we can use social enterprise to move more food and to make a larger impact on our community. You learn you know, all those things about finance and accounting, and then this is an opportunity to actually put it all together, and it really tests your understanding. You've got to create a financial model that actually works in the real world, in the community, and that really pushes you and challenges you. We want to make healthy food as easy to come by for a working single mother as it is to go stop at McDonald's. To see the solutions they come up with that I could never have imagined and watch them come to life, that's beautiful to see.